the Republican effort to hold Attorney General Merrick Garland in contempt has failed. On Thursday, Representative Anna Polina Luna's resolution to hold Garland in inherent contempt failed to pass the House of Representatives by a vote of 204 to 10. This is despite surviving a vote to table the motion, the resolution, and a vote to sideline the resolution by direct redirecting it to the Rules Committee. Four Republicans ended up joining all House Democrats to kill the resolution, which would have fined Attorney General Merrick Garland 10 grand per day until he turned over audio tapes of President Biden's interview with special counsel Robert Herr. So that's related to the Biden classified uh, documents case, uh, which, again, shouldn't be much of a thing. Uh, yes, Biden had classified documents. And then when he realized he had classified documents, he promptly returned them. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, uh, it's a lot different than Donald Trump. See, Donald Trump wouldn't have issues with holding classified documents had he just, if he had found that he was in possession of them, had returned them <laughs> and not lied about them, obstructed, uh, you know, I investigations into it and, and efforts to try to uh, basically have those documents returned. So uh, that said, Robert Herr interviewed Biden over that, but declined to charge him saying that he's a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. He also said in his uh, report, the president showed diminished faculties and at times exhibited limited precision and recall. I'm not entirely sure how wrong that is. Um, I mean, I, I'm not sure he's entirely wrong about that, considering how he did in the debates. And, and of course, the recent press conference uh, was not his best showing. Uh, he had actually referred to President Zelensky as Zelensky was on stage as President Putin before correcting himself immediately, to be fair. And then later on at a press conference that was about an hour and a half, just about two hours late. He then uh, confused his vice president with his opponent saying, quote, look, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president if I didn't think she would qual be qualified to be vice president. Mm. Whoopsie. So, okay, anyway, Republicans want the tapes. CNN also wants the tapes. I'm also kind of curious to hear the tapes. Let's be honest, right? Uh, that said, I, I don't think that we'll find out anything more than we already know or anything worse than what we already have seen, but still, it would just be more evidence of that. Uh, now, Luna puts forward this inherent contempt legislation which uh, would direct the House Sergeant of Arms to take Arlen into custody for not turning over the audio tapes. Now, the White House has already um, asserted executive privilege over those tapes, and so they don't want to let this go, okay? Now, here's the thing about Republicans. They're split on this, weirdly enough. Uh, now, according to CNN, citing multiple sources, in their closed door conference meeting on Tuesday, House GOP leadership said their conference should let the Democrats the chaos over Biden continued to dominate the news cycle, as it has, and should not f move forward with inherent contempt. To me, that would seem like the politically smart thing to do. I mean, if you if you see your enemies, you know, having a having a bad moment, uh, and basically hanging themselves with their own rope, uh, you, you you generally want to stand back and just let them do it. All right, but here comes Anna Polina Luna saying, no, 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 I'm going to be a lunatic and I'm going to do something clownish and then fail. Be because, of course, right? <laughs> now, getting back to the tape, right? Unpopular opinion, but I think that there, I don't think there's anything in the tape that is going to be worse than uh, for Joe Biden than what we've already seen. And what we've already seen is concerning, okay? I'm going to be honest, he's 81 years old. He's slower than he used to be. He rambles at length, loses his train of thought. I've watched that press conference yesterday, and that was, in my estimation, pretty rough. Okay. I, I know there, there's some out there in Biden world uh, that are saying, oh, this was masterful. No, I'm not saying he doesn't know his issues. He does. He's not like Donald Trump who rambles and then about nothing because he knows nothing or just makes things up. No, no, he's, he's not doing that. 
right? Yes, he, he definitely does have a handle on a lot of the issues, specifically foreign policy, even though he did tell a couple of lies, like the uh, uh, not giving Israel 2,000-pound uh, 2, bombs. Uh, no, we, we definitely gave Israel 2,000-pound bombs, okay? Um, so, but my concern, though, with uh, Joe Biden is, is, the, is the bad polling, for one. Uh, he's behind in a lot of swing states. He's behind nationally. Uh, he's got some pretty bad, unfavorable ratings, uh, and he seems to have an apparent lack of energy to run a vigorous campaign, the kind of campaign that we need. We need something that's super high energy. Now, Donald Trump has no brain and lots of energy, which apparently does really, really well on the Republican side, okay? The last thing I'm going to say, though, uh, is the White House getting back to them asserting executive privilege over these tapes. Look, according to CNN, uh, it, you know, his, it, Biden's biographer said that this White House is the most scripted White House in modern history that is obsessed with controlling the narrative. And I think this is all connected to that. And that's only going to keep people questioning if there's something going on i don't i don't think there is i don't think there's some grand conspiracy you know to hide like uh joe biden um in in his like like oh he's got dementia or something no he's older he's slower than he used to be and the job does take a huge toll on you and that's why again i don't i don't think that he's got the energy to to be able to run as vigorous a campaign to beat Donald Trump as I, as I think that we need. And, and that lack of energy is going to affect down ballot races. And of course it's going to affect voter turnout. And if the candidate's not as energetic, then how do you expect the voters to be? And this is a time where we need people to beat Donald Trump. And, and we need people who are in the middle, who are independents, who are not Biden diehards, to show up. And so, again, um, it's also, by the way, why Republicans are trying to capitalize on this by trying to push for more of the uh, her tapes, or at least some Republicans are, because they think that there is some conspiracy theory and they think that whatever they find in those tapes is going to be even worse than what we've already seen. And I don't believe that that is the case, as I've said before. Um, I think the extent of what's what's been happening with Biden is already out there. And I don't think anything in the tapes is going to be any worse than that. And, uh, but Hey, Republicans, you can continue to try to go after these tapes. And, and you know what I say, go ahead and take some of the focus off of Biden and put it back on your clownish behavior. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.